here we are in the gold sculptula room. Well, I guess technically they're all gold sculptula rooms, but this one's like really, really, really gold. It kind of reminds me of like a Chinese palace with the color palette it's got going on. Makes me hungry for noodles. <laughs> Alright, before I go kill some bitches in there, I need some water. So I can feed my plant that I have to plant in here with my beans. Alright. Let's kill some bitches with my arrows. And there's several in here that you can just get, like, right away. Yes, I know, it's dawn of the final day. I still have some things to do in the swamp before this day ends, so hopefully this goes by pretty quick. Bloop! Yay, I got in the first try! Awesome! I got you so. What you gonna do about it? Man, there's so many spider motifs in this place. Like, even the tiles on the left look like huge spiders. Do you see it? Speaking of spiders, hello. Goodbye. I got your soul too. What you gonna do? Like spiders have souls. No. <gasps> what if all the spider souls that we're collecting, what if they were actually, like, cursed people? Like the guy in the front of this place who got transformed completely into spiders and now we're killing them and collecting their human souls. <gasps> ah! I hope not! God, that's creepy. Ew! Extremely morbid, but with the way this game is going, I would not be surprised. Damn, Majora's Mask, you scary! Ugh! Alright, I think that's all the sculptures we had in this room, so let's just go back here into the tree room. Now there are two sculptures in the bushes somewhere. Ah! There he is! Ha ha! He's probably just like, kill me now! I hate being a spider! That's how I would be if I were turned into a spider. I'd just, you know, just put me out of my misery. Oh man, look at these guys in the tree. Ah! You know what that reminds me of? This. Oh, those legs! Ew! I think that's what makes spiders so creepy, is their long, spindly legs. Ugh. Terrible. And for the record, I'm not actually afraid of the Sculptulas in this game, just because I'm so used to them from Ocarina of Time. But let's just say, if I ever saw a spider that big, I would shit my pants. Alright, I believe that there's one more spider in here in one of the hornet's nests? I think. Yeah, I hear it. I hear it right now. There has to be at least one more in here. All right. Nope. Not in that one. Okay. Let's try this one. If I can actually aim today. <laughs> yep, there you are. I gotcha. And spin attack. Yes. Okay, I believe that's it. It's quiet in here now. Except for the little bugs crawling around on the floor. The little baby spiders. And before people start correcting me, yes, I know they're just bugs. They're not actually baby spiders. I just like to call them that in here because it's funny because it's the spider house. Like, you can tell that those bugs aren't actually spiders because they only have four legs. So. Alright, let's go in this room. And shit, I forgot my water. <laughs> Oops. What? Because we have to plant another bean from the bean man. And before I actually go in that room and plant it, I have a hunch that I forgot one. So maybe in here? Maybe? Alright, awesome! Good thing I checked! Phew! Otherwise I would have been like, running around frantically at the end going, Where's the last one? No! Oh, hello, Balda. That's a nice Balda. But, Balda, we have to blow you up, so boom, bitch, get out the way! And yes, I actually had to use an actual bomb because I'm not cool enough to have the blast mask yet. Oops. And I know this place can go by a little bit quicker if you do have, like, say, the blast mask or... What else? More bottles or the Goron mask or, like, the hook shot. But what can I say? No, don't leave me! Uh -huh. It's okay. I have some spiders to collect down here. <gasps> oh my gosh! <laughs> Uh, okay, I definitely just almost peed my pants because that shadow looked a little bit too close like a wall master shadow. <laughs> oh my gosh, like what are they doing in here? 
I, oh my gosh, yeah. Wall masters are definitely the scariest things in Zelda games just ever. More so than Skulltulas, or Rededs, or the Mummies, or even the Dead Hands. Wall masters, for sure. Ugh. And you know that you all have that, like, this one thing in Zelda games that make you want to poop your pants, or that maybe have made you poop your pants when you were younger. I don't know. That may have happened to me a time or two. Shh, you didn't hear that. <laughs> Seriously, don't act all badass like nothing scared you in Zelda game, because I know there's some scary shit in these games. Blah, 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 blah. Wall masters are just my weakness, what can I say? Oh man, I love the sound that plays when you're standing on those plant platforms. And I'm glad I'm not the only one who recognized it as, like, those Halloween ghost props. <laughs> so old school. I wonder if they still make those with that same sound and everything. I want one for Halloween this year. For sure. Alright. Looks like there's only one more left in here. It's behind this torch. Let me hit you! I guess I could have used my arrows there, but whatever. <laughs> oh, and while I'm by this uh, this door, I'll show you the monkeys. See the yellow? Um, this one's right side up on the top. You can see the head is red and white, and this one's upside down. But you can see the legs and the tail right behind the head, and you can't really see them on this side. They're covered in dirt, but the pink, I believe, um, are supposed to be like the Deku flowers, like this one right here. Very cool. It's, they didn't just add spiders in here. They added, like, elements from the actual forest, which I like. Okay, here are the last two spiders. Let's put them out of their misery. The last one's just like, kill me now. There you go. You don't have to suffer as a spider in this life anymore. Well, I guess that's my own little piece of fan fiction for you right there. That all these spiders in this house were once people who were overtaken by greed, just like the man in the front room. But there was nobody there to rescue them, so they were irrevocably cursed. And now to save the man in the front room, they have to valiantly give up their souls and be killed so that the curse can be lifted. And it's worked. Well, anyway, now that this place has been cleared of the swarm of spiders in here, someone should really come in here and dust all the cobwebs off and fix it up and make it a really nice home because it's actually a pretty badass place so I was just looking at that pattern on the floor it seems to be in a lot of places oh no take the mask off before he attacks you bad puppy hello sir you look a little less spidey today oh I've been saved I thought that I was going to die dude you don't have to talk like that anymore you see a while back someone told me I could become rich and he gave me this and I was cursed. Of course you were. Skull Kid, you knew this would happen. Of course, this is the same reason that the spiders in Ocarina of Time were cursed too, because they were overtaken by greed and they all turned into spiders. And we got the Mask of Truth. So exciting. I love this mask. It's so much fun. It does the same thing it did in Ocarina of Time. You can talk to Gossip Stones and this time we can talk to Eminos. Ooh. And since there's a little puppy in here, we can try this magic mask out real quick and talk to the puppy. Okay, little dick, come here. Well, I guess he's not really little dick. Little dick's in Clock Town. This is just his cousin. A rough! I've had it with this foolish master. Mm. What's a racing dog like me doing in a place like this? Oh, how I miss the ranch. Gruff. You know, speaking of the ranch, we are going to go there pretty soon and really test this baby out. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I just noticed! Look at the little paws on the bottom of his feet! Oh my gosh, that's a cute. That's a puppy paw detail cute. Oh, little puppy. Go be free! I'll meet you at the ranch. Soon. You know what this whole uh, thing reminds me of with the mask? Like, he put it on and then he was cursed and couldn't take it off. Have you ever read the Goosebumps book called The Haunted Mask? Well, it's about this girl who's overtaken by a sense of revenge to scare these boys with a really scary mask. But in the end, she can't take the mask off because it's cursed and she, like, becomes the mask. Just like this guy. Who's even read a Goosebumps book since the 90s? Nerd alert! 
Gersperms, my favorite books.